the royal palace. We're here in Madrid for our friend's wedding. We're so excited to celebrate with them and we actually came a week early so that we could explore the city as well. We've been practicing our Spanish since we got here. We both studied Spanish in high school for four years, which means we don't speak Spanish. Right now we're headed to breakfast. It is around noon, which is the perfect time for breakfast. Spain operates a bit differently, as you may know. They do multiple small meals throughout the day. In fact, most shops, restaurants, everything doesn't really even open until after 9 or 10 a.m. Steve-O's kind of place. This he is the greatest country <laughs> <laughs> Not a morning person. No notes. So we're heading to get some food right now and we'll take you with us. We just went to this place, Cien Montaditos, which is 100 Montaditos, and we were able to order in Spanish, luckily because all of the sandwiches or whatever we ordered, they're all numbered. So we just said, oh, I want number 84 or 85 or two. Our Spanish is good enough to order breakfast, so four years well spent. All right, we got a bunch of tiny sandwiches. Not what I was expecting, but it looks really good. This looks like ham with caramelized onions on a little baguette. Such a cute little baguette. This is very nice. I'm happy. This one was listed on the menu as the uncircumcised, so I hope it's good. It's a heaping hunk of chorizo. Ooh. I think this is the tortilla patatas inside of bread. Spanish tortilla is like often potatoes mixed with egg, and I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I don't know. It's, it's just egg and potatoes inside a baguette, but it's really good. That's the ham and olive oil. Oh. That's all it is. It's good. We're pretty sure we figured out what a Montadita is. This place is called 100 Montaditas. There are 100 Montaditas on the menu, and we ordered four of them, and they came out to be little sandwiches. We're looking at museums to visit here in Madrid, and we found that the Tisen Bornemisa is free from noon to four on Monday, so. And that's what time it is right now. It's like 1230. So free is the best price, so we're gonna boogie over there. We got, it's about 40 minutes away, so we're gonna get three hours of free culture. And we are covered in sunscreen, so we are ready to do this. The Royal Palace. It's so pretty. There are a lot of bicycle rentals all around Madrid, and these ones are actually electric bicycles. We're not gonna do them right now, but we might try that another day because it seems pretty cool. Madrid's very hilly, so an electric bike would definitely come in handy. And it seems like they have a lot of drop-off points where you can drop the bike and pick a new one up, so that's pretty cool. It looks like you just scan the QR code uh, once you have the app and then you can book the bike. Seems pretty simple. We're standing inside of Plaza Mayor. This is the main historical square in Madrid and it dates back to the 16th century. Be sure to try some traditional Spanish food here at the Taco Bell. But if it's closed, don't worry, you can get some more traditional Spanish food at the 24-hour McDonald's. We made it! Entrada, that means go inside.
just walked through the Tisen Bornemisza Museum for about two hours. There are a lot of famous paintings in there, including some Renoirs, Monets, Manets, Salvador Dali, interspersed with lots of other famous paintings. I'm sure there's um, art history people out there who know so much more than we do. It's well worth going in because there are a lot of very amazing paintings. And if you're here in the summer and it's hot, it's a great way to spend the middle part of the day. So now we're pretty hungry and we heard about a market in town uh, that's meant to be quite famous and has lots of types of tapas. Madrid has no shortage of great places to eat, but we heard that this market is a lot of fun. So we're gonna head there now. There's a lady outside the window running the flower scam where they force a flower upon you and then make you give them money. <laughs> she got a couple ladies. So basically you choose what you want and you can just post up right next to the place where you ordered from. So I got three things. Uh, I got octopus, uh, herring, and I actually don't know what this one is. I asked the lady which one she likes and she told me this one. Honey mustard codfish. Mm. The octopus was really good. It's basically just fish on melba toast, but mm, octopus is not a fish. Okay, this one is honey mustard codfish. It does not taste like honey mustard, but it's really good. It might not be. Okay, I don't think that's what it is, but okay. it's good. This last one is herring with avocado. Avocado boobies. Yeah, it does look like boobies. I saved the best for last. It's so good. So this is just an olive bar with olive skewers and fish and cheese and sun-dried tomatoes, lots of things. I don't know what this one is, but it's some kind of fish inside of an olive. Oh, that was such a good bite. It's salty and fishy. And... Alright, this one has pickles, sun-dried tomatoes, cheese, another sun-dried tomato, and an olive. Mm. That's a good bite. This is too dangerous. So Steve was doing the ice cream technique where he's just eating it like it's ice cream. <laughs> to the Mercado de San Miguel and it was muy bien. Muy bien. Uh, it's super crazy in there, really crowded, which we heard it was going to be that way. I think it's definitely more of a place that tourists go rather than locals, just from what it seemed like in there. We heard a lot of Americans. Yeah, we did hear a lot of Americans. But that said, it was a cool place to try a lot of different tapas all in one area. And prices were anywhere from what we saw from uh, 1.5 euros all the way up to, you know, 25 euros, depending on what you're getting. Just know that it's really crowded and it might be hard to find a place to sit. It was really crowded. It was like four in the afternoon on a yeah. Monday. So if you are able to get a table in there, post up and stay at it <laughs> and then yeah. just go and shift. And now uh, we're thinking we're going to head back and have a little siesta before dinner time. We've been walking so much the last few days and our dogs are tired. So we're going to be doing a lot of walking tomorrow on our mystery journey. <laughs> Why'd you smack that such butt? Because I thought it'd be funny. Oh, yeah, funny. just hurt yourself. We were talking to this chick and it says you should like and subscribe, so listen to the chicken. We hope you had fun with us here in Madrid. We're excited to share more Madrid adventures with you. We love you. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.